Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today is just going to be a day in the life, full day of eating. I'm still going strong on my new macros. This is week two on my custom keto plan. Um, I'm eating at a deficit, still just like post-vacation reset. Um, but I'm already back at my pre-vacation weight. I'm just kind of continuing on for the rest of the week. And then I will be making a little adjustment to my macros. So um, definitely stay tuned for that. But other than that, just a day in the life. So uh, let's see what I get into today. Charles is over here. He tends to sit there and catch flies. He likes to do that. Him and Apollo both like to catch flies. So he's looking for his next victim right now. And I have already started my day. I'm in my workout gear because I'm going to head to the gym in a little bit. Still got my slippers on. Because this is what I rock all day. Unless I'm at the gym. Feeling pretty lean. Good. I had an epic cheat day though. On Saturday, I had a major surplus of calories. Um, so... On Sunday, kind of took it way back down, but I still ate um, 1,200 or so on Sunday. And then um, I've been eating my macros, my correct macros, the first couple of days this week so far. Um, I won't step on the scale. I'm going back to like my normal methods of weigh-ins, which is not every day like I was doing for you guys. That was just to kind of show you my post-vacation reset. But um, now I'm going back to just weighing in one time per week. So I definitely will weigh in again in a couple of days. So I'll show you guys that. Um, not really trying to lose weight right now. I, I'm comfortable anywhere from like, you know, 116 to 120. Um, but I just do it as kind of like a sanity check. And um, especially because I'm going to be adjusting my macros for next week and putting myself on a slightly different keto plan for next week. Um, Another thing I'm doing is adding a little more structure to myself, um, my workouts, because I've realized that I've been working out without a plan or a program. So I'm putting myself on a more strict program regimen in terms of the gym so that I don't go there aimlessly and just kind of do some machines. I'm going with specific goals and plan in mind. So today I'm going to be doing chest and triceps. So hopefully I'll show you guys a little bit of that. Um, going to be a mixture of some compound movements, supersets. Um, just going to kind of shock my body in, over this next um, few months and see if I can get that body composition to, to change a little bit. Definitely want to drop my body fat. Um, and increase my muscle mass so that is starting now so we are finally off to the gym it's like what time is it like 1 30 but we've been kind of going a little later lately that's been that schedule's actually been working really well for me um i've been getting the bulk of my work done earlier and that way i am kind of working out towards the end of my fast so i typically fast about 20 hours every single day so i'm in it's been 18.5 hours. Um, so 20 hours will, will be at 3 p.m. So right at like the 20 hour mark is when I'll be done with my workout. So it's a perfect time to break my fast. And a lot of people ask me, um, does intermittent fasting or those extended fasting hours that I do, the 18 to 20 hours, does that cause um, issues, especially when you're working out like with muscle breakdown? And actually it does not when you're on the ketogenic diet because when you are using ketones as energy, your body has an endless supply of ketones. If you've got body fat, it's converting that body fat into ketones to get you through that workout. And um, with glycogen, so when you're fasting but you're on a carbohydrate diet, you run out of glycogen. And when you run out of glycogen, your body has to make more glycogen by converting um, proteins into energy. And so that can be an issue with your muscles. Um, but keto generally not because it's very, very muscle preserving. So I wanted to clarify that because I do get that question a lot because I do practice a lot of intermittent fasting, but I do believe that, um, you can absolutely still build muscle while intermittent fasting. So I am off to get this workout in, try to capture a little bit of it for you guys. 
Um, so we'll see. Today's chest and tricep. Up, guys, I am in the group training room at Fit Republic on Hamilton Avenue in San Jose. It's a really cool room where they do like functional group training classes. I haven't actually taken one of the classes yet, um, but it's kind of similar to like circuit training. And um, I think it'll be really cool. I'll definitely have to try it out. But um, for today, I'm going to be getting in some weight training. I just did some low intensity, low intensity, steady state cardio. Um, I didn't want to go crazy and do something like hit. I'm fully fasted right now and I need some energy for my weights. So um, I'm reserving hit for like non-weight training days or for the day after a high, a high carb day because HIT utilizes mostly glycogen. So it's a great way to deplete your glycogen. Anyhow, not doing HIT today. I did do my cardio already. I'm about to get some weights in and I just wanted to show you guys this room because I thought it was really cool. It's a cool spot. If you're local in the Bay Area, you should definitely check them out. They have a bunch of them. Um, all over Northern California. There's like three in San Jose, one in Gilroy, and then all over like the valley and more north. So. <laughs> So I just started out here with some assisted push-ups and I actually did like a mini circuit. So I went from this assisted push-up into this dumbbell fly. And then after one set of this dumbbell fly, I went into the next exercise, which is mountain climbers. And I did 20 on each side. And then I repeated those three exercises four times. Then I went into a pyramid chest press. I did four sets starting at 15 and then 12, 12, and 10. This is an incline chest press. I did four sets of 12 reps. Then right into a tricep, tricep pull down. I did four sets, 15, 12, 10, and 10. Here is another superset. I did a bench press. And then from the bench press, I went into the tricep kickback and then back to the bench press. I did that four times. And here I did an incline push up and I supersetted that with the tricep dips. And I did that four times as well. It's done. And you know it was a good workout when you can hardly hold your phone up to film after the workout. My arms are dead. I'm gonna be sore from that one, guys. Whew. All right, you guys, so I'm back at home, and another reason why I like pushing my workouts a little later is that when I'm done with my workout, as I mentioned, I'll be ready to break my fast, and I am ready to break my fast now. It's actually 20 and a half hours. Um, I think it's like 3.30 right now, but I'm going to break my fast with some protein powder. Since I just finished weight training, it'll be a good time to get in some quick protein before I actually eat my first meal. So I just take one scoop of this Perfect Keto Whey, which is really clean. And um, whey protein is gonna be the best, the best for muscle building. A lot of people don't eat whey, either they avoid animal proteins, or whey just bothers them digestively. But if whey does not bother you, I highly recommend going with a whey protein, because it is the best in terms of muscle building. So I just mix that up in this water. I do mix it with ice though because I do like it really cold, but nothing special. Um, I rather eat my calories than drink my calories, so I just do this really quick so that I can guzzle it up, and then um, then I'll move on to food. My true self. If I didn't show you that as soon as I possibly can in the day, put my pajamas on. I do. It's like my phase two of the day. It doesn't mean I'm done working, but it does mean that I'm done with the majority of my work and it does mean that my workout is done. So as soon as I can kind of rinse off from my workout, I will put pajamas on and then I will finish out my day um, in PJs. And I guess that's the perks of working from home, but I can't help myself. So comfy, got my slippers on. Nothing new to see here, guys. I am going to be making my, my getting my Stoka bar ready 
for my Dan and Too Good yogurt, and I'm just going to have that. Um, I'm a creature of habit, and I tend to eat the same thing over and over. If you saw my meal plan, it's literally yogurt and granola every single day for, for my meal number one. Um, but purposely for you guys, I changed up the dinners in my meal plan just so that I can show you guys some variety. But I don't typically do a lot of variety. It's just easier for me, especially when I'm really strict on a plan and counting macros, um, to repeat my meal plan over and over. But um, I switched up my meal plan a little bit this week in terms of food choices just so that I can give you guys... Um, you know, more variety when I'm filming. So my dinner tonight will be a little bit different, um, but sorry, lunch is the same old, same old. Highly recommend trying out Stokabar. I have a discount code for them in the description box down below. Check them out. Um, I'm just gonna go enjoy my, my yogurt for now and I'll see you guys for dinner. So dinner is ground beef tacos, lettuce tacos. And um, I just season my meat with um, these different seasonings from real salt I love them so flavorful and I'll probably just add some onions to this and these are the um, romaine hearts that I'm going to use to make the tacos and just some avocado and shredded cheese pretty simple you know I like to keep things simple so I'm just gonna finish this up and then put everything together okay, so here is dinner Pretty simple. I'm also gonna have a side of pork rinds. And here are the macros for all of this. Pretty heavy dinner because um, all I've eaten so far other than this is the yogurt. Here is my final item of the day. It is a Perfect Keto Keto Bar, the new flavor of cinnamon roll. It's brand new, you guys, it's really, really good. But that really concludes my day. Take a look here at the macros that I consumed. And as you can see, um, I didn't even hit my protein. I fell a little short on my protein. I'm a little over in my fats. Um, and important for me to point out, I didn't use any added fats in this day. No added fats. I didn't use olive oil, no MCT oil, nothing like that. My fats all came from the protein that I ate, as well as the full fat cheese, the avocado, um, and that's pretty much it. And I still went over on my fat. So it's important to note that you really don't have to go crazy on your fats. You, you really can get most of your fats from good quality protein. Um, you know, there's not a huge need, especially it just depends on what macros you're working with. But especially for me, I don't use MCT oils really anymore, butter, not even a lot of cooking oil unless I'm using eating like a leaner protein. Um, oftentimes people think that people on keto eat plates of butter and chug oil and it just isn't the case. As you can see here, I actually went over on my fats, didn't hit my protein and um, I didn't use any added fats. Uh, but I'm still pretty happy with the macros for today. Um, you know, it was pre-planned out in a meal plan so it made it really easy. I hit like 1300 calories. Um, but yeah, so that concludes today. Thank you so much for watching and following along and we'll see you again next time.